Jesus' gospel was not Jesus-centric. It was pointing to the Holy Ghost who would come after him. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk in him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Now, I speak with authority on certain things. You can understand that, right? I preach that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and that we walk with Him, say with Him, by saying words. We didn't just magically show up here at this message we were brought here say brought here, brought here. specifically by Jesus himself mm -hmm. we're not making this up he made it up if anybody made it up he made it up right. and frankly if Jesus made it up I'm good with it but I preach Holy Ghost and I preach Holy Ghost and I preach Holy Ghost and I preach I'm gonna show you why tonight but someone criticized me for preaching Holy Ghost and not preaching enough about Jesus well the fact is you don't know what you're talking about because the only way we got here was by the words of Jesus right. we know that here because we've been through this but a lot of people mm -hmm. are walking around in a religious conception of Jesus which keeps them from knowing the real Jesus and receiving the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today so I'm not enamored with your religious conception of Jesus and that's true but if we're talking about the real Jesus the one who's at the right hand of the Father and shall return say shall return, shall return. the real Jesus actual Jesus then I love the actual Jesus and I preach about him all the time right. say I love this Jesus, I love this Jesus. well we could not be where we are today say today. today you know what today is right the time you're living it we couldn't be where we are today without the real Jesus and without what real Jesus did for us that's right that's me preaching Jesus mm -hmm. so get over it so without Jesus the real Jesus what he did and what he accomplished we wouldn't be where we are today I couldn't say the words the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words mm -hmm. we wouldn't be here that's where we are well Jesus himself said that he would send another say he, he would send, send. himself <laughs> is that what he said no he would send another so after everything that Jesus accomplished, we're going to talk about that today, but every, after everything that Jesus accomplished, he said he was going to finish it and send another. Yes, he does some intercession, but he's doing that from the right hand of the Father. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. He said, I will send another. A big part of Jesus' ministry was preparing the way for the another to come in fact he said if I don't depart if I don't do what I have to do and leave he won't even come That's right. That's right. first Peter 2 24 who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that means on the cross you understand yes. who did this Jesus. Jesus did it he bore our sins in his own body on the cross mm -hmm. whose sins did he bear his own no he bore your sins he bore my sins thank God. Yes, thank God which means I can stand without sin before God mm -hmm. specifically God the Holy Ghost that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed so he paid the price for your sins he paid the price for your sicknesses and diseases and we all we understand this is substitutionary sacrifice right I'm not gonna go through all the scriptures there's a plenty of other scriptures mm -hmm. that talk about this Jesus bore 
our sins jesus took away by substitutionary sacrifice our sicknesses and diseases where does that leave us it leaves us without sin and without sickness now is this okay yes. i'm talking about where we are today because of what he did there's a lesser known part of this substitutionary sacrifice second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 for you know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might be rich you through his bearing poverty might be rich he bore your sins so you could be the righteousness of god he bore away your sicknesses so that you could be healed he bore away your poverty so that you could be rich and don't stutter when you say it so through the death burial and resurrection he overcame it all the bible says he overcame death and the grave as great and necessary as all that is being raised from the dead and overcoming all of that stuff that wasn't the whole point of jesus's ministry and purpose in life mm -hmm. you say what 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 what, what? It wasn't so that you could die and go to heaven he was pointing to the one that was gonna come after him and over and over and over and over and I'm gonna read many of these verses tonight he's talking about the another that's going to come I'm gonna go away and then another one is gonna come so just like John the Baptist his life his purpose his ministry was to point to jesus and his message was that one coming after me mm -hmm. remember that yes was john the baptist a prophet did jesus come after him did it come to pass yes matthew chapter 3 verse 1 in those days came john the baptist preaching in the wilderness of judea verse 11 and I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that comes after me is mightier than I whose shoes I am not worthy to bear and he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire now John the Baptist the prophet he came and he said somebody's coming after me mm -hmm. did that happen yes then he said what this person coming after him would do he said and prophesied what the ministry of Jesus would be and do he shall baptize you into fully immerse you into the Holy Ghost john the baptist's ministry was to point to and get you into jesus right yes. mm -hmm. but jesus came and if he was going to fulfill what, what john the baptist said mm -hmm. would be to get you into the holy ghost if you followed and obeyed the ministry of jesus and the words of jesus you would be fully immersed into the holy ghost and we know that he's God in the earth today are you getting this yes. so just like John the Baptist his purpose in life and his ministry was to bring you into lead you and point to say point to point, point, to. point to Jesus remember he's well, there he is right. same way that John the Baptist pointed to Jesus Jesus pointed to the Holy Ghost Now, people don't like this because they seem like I'm being sacrilegious or I'm being somewhat Holy Ghost centric instead of Jesus centric. But Jesus himself in his ministry wasn't Jesus centric, he was Holy Ghost centric. Amen. John chapter 14 and verse 16. And I 
will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever Amen. he's going to give you another say another. another does that mean the same one no. another comforter that he say he. he he will abide with you forever so obviously he is a person that Jesus is going to pray to the Father to send. Say another person. Another person. That he may abide where? With you. Jesus went to the Father, prayed the Father to send another that he, he mm -hmm. would abide with you. That's right. If this happened, then we were introduced by Jesus to the Holy. Who's saying this, by the way? Looks like Jesus is saying it. Mm -hmm. Who's he pointing to? But he's pointing to the Holy Ghost that he's going to abide with you forever. Amen. He didn't say me's going to abide with you forever. Nope. Jesus' gospel was not Jesus centric, it was pointing to the Holy Ghost who would come after him. John chapter 14 verse 25 these things have I spoken unto you being yet present with you what do you think that means when he was there mm -hmm. so he's talking about when he's not gonna be there right mm -hmm. these things have I spoken to you being yet present with you verse 26 but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost now we know who exactly the comforter is mm -hmm. he's revealed him isn't that amazing Jesus is revealing the Holy Ghost to people when he was here mm -hmm. but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost wh uh, whom the Father will send in my name he shall teach you all things Jesus said he's gonna pray the Father are you still here I'm trying to walk you through it he's gonna pray to the Father and then he said the father will send the comforter who is the Holy Ghost whom the father will send are you getting this yes. who is Jesus talking about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. was Jesus talking about himself no. no he's talking about him and the father sending the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and he will be with you he's a person the father will send a person the father will send another are you getting this mm -hmm. Jesus said he'd send another the father said he'll send another mm -hmm. so it's not the father it's not Jesus they're gonna send another and he said who he is mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost am I bothering you yet mm -hmm. John chapter 15 verse 26 but when the comforter is come whom I will send unto you from the Father even the Spirit of truth John chapter 13 and verse 20 verily verily I say unto you he that receives whomsoever I send receives me now I just read several verses on Jesus is going to send another he's gonna send a whom he's gonna send the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. verily verily I say unto you he that receives whomsoever I send receives me and he that receives me receives him that sent me is that in your Bible yes. so we're supposed to receive the one that Jesus sent so over and over and over he said he's going to send someone John the Baptist said someone is coming after me Jesus I read all these verses there are plenty of other ones where he said someone is coming after me and would not come if I didn't go away and do what I needed to do John chapter 7 verse 39 this spake he of 
who's jesus speaking of the spirit, the spirit this spake he jesus of the spirit which they that believe on him should receive mm -hmm. that's in the future for the holy ghost was not yet given because jesus was not yet glorified this spake he of the spirit that they should receive this spake he jesus of the spirit that they should receive john chapter 16 and then let's look at verse 7. who's saying this jesus. jesus nevertheless i tell you the truth it's expedient for you that i go away for if I go not away, the Comforter, who do we know the Comforter is already? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. The Comforter will not come unto you. But if, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. So Jesus has to go away. Say, go away. Oh he went away and then was going to send from wherever, wherever the away was the comforter unto you and we know the comforter is a person he's a he he's a whom he's the holy ghost yes. now let's look at acts chapter one let's see jesus's final words have you seen this so far that jesus was saying i'm not making this up no. jesus was saying these things jesus was pointing to the one who was going to come So Acts chapter 1, let's just read from verse 1. The former treaties I have made, have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up. Say, he was taken up. He was taken up. Verse 4. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but these are the final words of Jesus before he's taken up mm -hmm. do not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the Father which saith he you have heard of me verse 5 for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence he's repeating the words that John the Baptist said at the beginning mm -hmm. of Jesus's ministry mm -hmm. what should have been the fulfillment of Jesus's ministry is them being baptized or fully immersed into the another that came after him his departing words John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence who said this Jesus, Jesus. read down verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and the cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked stead is this okay to be taught is this did this happen during the resurrection period of jesus is this part of the resurrection story it's not in most places he was just raised from the dead but if all you do is talk about jesus being raised from the dead you left a part all out this whole part of his gospel and purpose of life and ministry was to get you fully immersed into the another who was to come after him That's right. which was the beginning of his ministry throughout his ministry and the last things he said to people mm -hmm. verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight verse 10 and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel 
verse 11 which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same jesus say this same jesus this same jesus this same jesus which is taken up from you into heaven mm -hmm. where'd he go heaven. into heaven the same jesus taken up into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven yes has this happened yet no. so where is this same jesus this jesus the real jesus in heaven same jesus in like manner didn't say he's going to come in the form of another he said when he gets there he will send another mm -hmm. say he left, he left and he sent another, he sent another. now now we're talking about the real jesus this same jesus you can see that's the real jesus right yes not fictional made up weird religious jesus actual jesus physical jesus raised from the dead went up in a cloud mm -hmm. while they were beholding mm -hmm. and shall return in like manner yes same jesus okay verse uh acts chapter 2 verse 32 this jesus hath god raised up whereof we are all witnesses did they witness that this jesus hath god raised up whereof we are all witnesses 33 where therefore being by the right hand of god exalted being actively god raised him from the dead and being by the right hand of god exalted where is jesus now according to the bible by the right hand of god exalted in heaven and having received of the father the promise say the promise, the promise. of the holy ghost mm -hmm. or the promise the holy ghost hath shed for this which you now see and hear of course he was talking about when they received the holy ghost acts chapter 2 verse 1 through 4 on the day of Pentecost and the Holy Ghost came right. 38 then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost verse 39 for the promise is unto you Amen. who's unto you the promise so what was the end result of all this brethren what shall we do repent be baptized in the name of jesus for the remission of sins and they and, and and you'll receive the holy ghost who is the promise say the holy ghost, the holy ghost is, is the, promise. the promise he didn't say any of that other stuff was the promise the promise the end result was to receive the holy ghost mm -hmm. he's a person jesus talked about receiving another that he would send he's called the promise who shall you receive the holy ghost mm -hmm. you could see that that was the promise way back from john the baptist mm -hmm. he said the guy who's coming after me he's greater than me he's going to baptize you into the holy ghost yes. so who is with you holy ghost i don't know of a single time where jesus said talked about him bearing the sins of the world and leaving it there that's where it was going to stay it was never that it was always about him making you acceptable cleaning you up right. mm -hmm. so the holy ghost could come mm 
and be with you and walk with you so that we can live in this day in this age right. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 7 wherefore as the Holy Ghost saith who saith the Holy Ghost. today if you will hear his voice whose voice the Holy Ghost's voice as the Holy Ghost saith today if you will hear his voice say today. today what day are you in you're in the day where the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today today we're not in the day of Jesus's day he accomplished what he needed to accomplish and is being at the right hand of the Father and has sent the Holy Ghost into the earth mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today today if you will hear his voice whose voice is it it's the Holy Ghost it's the one Jesus sent well, the fact is the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him this is where we're at it's a new reality brought to you by Jesus himself say it's a new reality, it's a new reality. brought to me, brought to me. By, Jesus by Jesus himself 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14 the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you communion is the word koinonia it means intimate personal fellowship it's only used when it's involving a person he didn't say the communion of Jesus he didn't say the communion of God the Father he said specifically the communion intimate personal daily relationship and fellowship was with who Holy Ghost how'd we get here I hope you know now much more about how we got here I know him I walk with him and I daily by speaking in agreement with his words manifest the promises that come from him in this earth say in this earth, in this earth today now if this gospel sounds different to you then you haven't gone far enough you haven't gone to the completion of where the gospel should take you it should take you here mm -hmm. knowing the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him in the earth mm -hmm. leave Jesus in heaven with the Father leave Jesus in heaven with the Father until as such time as they decide that it's time for Jesus to return in like manner yep. that he went yep. stop making up junk Jesus isn't here he's still being at the right hand of the Father we now walk and have communion with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and we know that we walk with him by saying words Jesus said if I don't depart well people aren't letting him depart you've got to let him go leave him there and walk with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. fully receive and continue on with the Holy Ghost as God fully receive say fully receive, fully receive. the one Jesus sent so we fully receive and continue on with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth are you getting this And walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words if you do this the manifestations that you will have from God will leap forward 100 fold walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words if you do this the manifestations that you will have from God will leap forward 100 fold 
things that you were struggling with before will be will become easy you'll just forget about them he says to you there's nothing I won't do for those who worship me and speak in agreement with my words there's nothing I won't do for those who worship me and speak in agreement with my words now you can see that that's completely different when, than where most people are they've not fully received him as God you know the Holy Ghost is God But they've been receiving some kind of manufactured gospel that doesn't allow him to be God but if you'll worship him there's nothing he won't do for you when you worship him and speak in agreement with his words if you will worship him only and speak his words only then watch out nothing shall be impossible to you in the only is everything some of you will get that some of you won't but anyway let me pray for you holy ghost i thank you that these people have heard this word this evening and veils are being falling off and things that have kept their eyes blinded are are being removed we thank you holy ghost that you're exposing the truth to these people and they're beginning to walk in a new way in a new day in a living relationship with a living god we thank you holy ghost for it in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you i, worship you. I walk with you, walk with you. As, god as god in the earth today, earth today. Delivered, delivered from all poverty and set in divine prosperity I thank you that all things are working together for good for me right now in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today